one of the oldest systems of all is what we can call picture casting and very confusing to researchers but what's going on in picture casting is that instead of tossing out a, a cast with that has meaning in terms of the individual objects what you're doing is tossing out a pattern and then looking at that pattern as if it were an image so Let's take a, 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 you can say, give me an image, is your question. Give me an image of this relationship. Give me an image of my financial possibilities. Give me an image of my spiritual growth. Give me an image of this or that. It doesn't always have to be for yourself. So I'm going to toss uh, uh, for an image uh, relating to our organization. And so give me an image of the growth of Aloha International uh, over the coming year. And so I do my pico pico. Focus on my question. Shake the stones, give me an image of the growth of Aloha International over the coming year. Now, my role is to look at this pattern as if it were a picture, almost like connecting dots. Now, you're going to see it from a different perspective than I am, but what I've got to try to do is look at this uh, to see what kind of thing it might be. Um, and so you use memory association, uh, whatever ideas that might come up, um, uh, anything that can help you uh, give you some kind of uh, an indication about it. What I get here is some kind of a vehicle. So for me, it looks like here's somebody in the driver's seat, and interestingly, that happens to be love in the driver's seat. And here's the front of the vehicle. And from where I'm looking, why these can be the wheels. And so what we're going, we're doing is we're going forward and the wheels happen to be awareness and confidence. Those are the things that, that keep us on the ground. We're driving force is love and we're steering with effectiveness. And of course the others have their place in there, but this shows me that we're moving forward. And we're moving forward very well and with all the right tools and possibilities. And so whatever you might be interested, what this gives you is more of a feeling sense. And it helps to develop your, all of these things help to develop your intuition. But this one perhaps most of all, because it trains you to be aware of images and the feeling of those images rather than their logical explanation. And so it takes you into the deeper realms of intuition. And if you practice with the stones, the more you practice, the more your intuition will develop, the more you'll be able to get the answers that you want simply by focusing and asking. Before you can even reach for the stones, you'll have the yes or no, the advice, or the pictures. And then every once in a while, just to kind of retrain your coup, to remind yourself of the process, you can use the actual stones. But they're best used as a training device to develop your intuition.